uh, we are going to talk about a project on machine learning that we have developed uh which is basically casting uh, defect uh, you know casting defect detection by convolutional neural network so this is the main uh, topic on which we have worked out our uh, uh machine learning project and we will take a tour on how it works and what it's all about so that uh, everyone can get a brief idea about it okay, so next slide okay so first of all this presentation is done by uh our teammates uh, these are the names uh, uh and under the guidance of uh, our professor onit banbos and uh, uh, these are the teammates uh, who have contributed uh, for this uh, for this project that we have done all right next page so this is the content portion we have divided this uh, into small portions so that it can be very easy to understand so first we will talk about the introduction then we will talk about the problem identification and the motivation behind the project data set validation and code uh, methodology then the model creation uh, and there will be a result and discussion portion and ultimately we will uh, look at the conclusion that what it is all about and what we can get out of it the total gist of the whole project okay next slide all right so Uh, let's begin with the introduction so first we need to have an idea that what we are doing and why we are doing it so and uh, for why we are doing it this can be answered by the first uh, the first looking at what is casting process and the defects that are there in casted product so casting is basically a very commonly used manufacturing process a uh, manufacturing process where basically we pour molten metal into our a mold uh, and then we get the desired shape uh, of the object that we want when uh, once when the uh, metal solidifies and uh, but uh, like any other processes this is also not a perfect process and uh, during the solidification of the metal and also due to some uh, defects in the mold creation there can be uh, different types of defects in the ultimate product this can range from like uh, very very various defects can there can be various defects but in industries uh, where there are you know huge number of products are being casted it is very difficult to inspect this uh, manually by you know visually looking at them and uh, it is very very cumbersome but uh, again this is also a very important part to uh, get analyzed because ultimately we don't want any kind of Uh, defects in our final casted products because that can cause uh, various damages so that's the reason why we will use a computer uh, instead of human being to detect the uh, problems or the defects in the casted products and that's the whole motive or the whole uh, point of doing this project and we will do it with the help of machine learning so we have already done it so automatic inspection of surface defects this is what we are actually trying to do and it will play a very pivotal role in industries now as i have already told you that this can be done by training cnn convolutional neural network and uh, this is basically a data set containing various image scales so we will have various images that with which we will actually train our model and then we will provide uh the the image or actually it will take the image in real time of the casted product and then it will look out for the defects uh it will tally it with the images that we have already provided it or or trained it with uh, that's the terminology used in uh, machine learning so uh, and it will ultimately give us the uh result uh, saying whether it is defected or it is uh, all right and it will actually it is actually you know uh, better than most of the state of the art approaches that are considered uh, in today because of the accuracy that it can give and also the uh, you know decrease in latency this time latency because there is always a hurry uh, to do things in uh, manufacturing industries so okay next slide please now there is this problem identification now there is detecting surface defects in casting as i've already told you that uh, it it is very easy to take an image of a casting product as an input and then predicting whether it is a defective piece or not uh, rather than you know employing people 
and uh, look, they, they will visually look at it. So it will become very cumbersome and also it is not economically helpful. And the second uh, thing is that uh, we are going to uh, be developing a very easy to use real time application so that it can be used in real time uh, when the product is being cast in and it is actually in the in the process or it is in, in, in the material handling process in that in that meantime. So it should be dynamic. So it will uh, give us the result at that particular time. Okay, next slide, please. Here is the motivation. And uh, it, this, this slide is actually uh, pretty important to understand because uh, whenever we implement something new, uh, we might uh, have this question in our mind that whether it is actually a feasible thing or not and whether we should deploy it or not. Then, uh, like any other things, uh, it also has some disadvantages. Uh, sorry, I mean, casted products uh, will have disadvantages if if they have defects in them. So defects such as scratches, patch, pitted surface, and many other, as I've already said, there are tons and tons of uh, things that can happen, uh, which, if present on the surface, can make a bad uh, looking appearance. It can give a bad looking appearance to the surface. It can uh, hamper the strength of the material. It can lead to corrosion uh, when it is exposed to air or other conditions. And also it will uh, develop increased friction and so many things can happen. So there are lots and lots of disadvantages and we are trying to eliminate all of them with the help of machine learning by identifying uh, whether it is re you know, ready or not. So. What is the benefit of doing this? Uh, there are other things also that could have been done, but it is actually beneficial when it comes to economical point of view. And also it is an advancement in technology because it is getting popular more and more as we are developing more and more um, you know, programs and algorithms. So vision-based inspection that is done by human beings has been extensively applied to various industries. But again, as I've said that there is this economical uh, uh, benefit because uh, uh, economical yeah, uh, that it will uh, cost much more. So it does not only enhance uh, inspecting accuracy if we apply machine learning, but also it will decrease the cost of human inspection substantially. And in real time surface defects detection, our final application implementation after training CNN model with the large data set will help us to get the surface detect in real time. All right, so from here on, my uh, teammate Anurag will uh, take care of the next slides. Thank you. Thank you, Abhi. Uh, now, uh, let's look at data set visualization and code. So uh, we took the code from uh, data set from Kaggle.com, which is uh, casted defect images. And it consists of uh, 6,633 images for training purpose. And for testing images, we had 715 images. Uh, the code for training our model is this, and the code for data set is this. If you click on these uh, links, you will be redirected to those codes. And here are some images, uh, example images from the data set. Uh, like this one is a defective product. This one is a, okay, a good product. And this one is also defective product. This is a perfect product. OK, now let's look at proposed methodology. So what we did is we took the training data set, which consider, consisted of all the training images. Then we pre-processed it. And using CNN, we created a model. After creating the model, uh, we took some test images for testing. And then after pre-processing it and using it in our CNN model, we uh, we applied it into our binary classification model. And then this, this binary classification model gave us the result if it was defective or it was OK. So this is the whole methodology. Now, uh, we applied it in a code in the platform Visual Studios and created an app for it so that it's easier for uh, the common or uh, for layman to use it here. This is a screenshot of the app that we created. OK, so I will just walk you through that. Here if we go. This is the code that we ran. We used 
softmax activation with sparse categorical gauss entropy compiling okay now let's look at the app here is the app with the heading on the top casting defect prediction app now we click click on browse files we can choose an example image to test it so let's choose a random image for a casted product we click on it and it gets loaded as it gets loaded we can clearly see it's a defective product let's see if the app can figure out if it's a de defective product we click on predict and the app shows this image is most likely a defective image with 100% confidence so we find that our app is working just fine okay now let's look at results and discussion so uh, after training the model using cnn we find that the model is 98.69% accurate with and giving us a loss of 3.24% so we trained a confusion matrix for this one and in the confusion matrix it shows uh, the it shows 4.5 into 10 to the power two times it guessed it correctly and 2.6 into 10 to the power two times uh, two times it guessed correctly for this is for defective one and this is for okay and three and two times it showed wrong results now let's move on to graphs this graph shows uh, that loss versus val loss and this graph shows accuracy versus val accuracy uh, these are the variation of accuracy and loss with epoc for the model trained so now let's conclude the whole casting defect uh, convolution network here we used the cnn model to detect different types of cast uh, uh, a product a casted product if it was defective or it wasn't a perfect condition and in defective we detected if it uh, if it had blow holes chipping crack or anything else defect was present there it would automatically classify that model as defective and if nothing was present there and it was a perfect product then it was it would just classify it as that okay product and in future we plan it to use it for uh, processes like welding concrete defects and glass defects so that it makes it easier for the industry workers to classify the casted products as good or bad so that the industry can become more efficient thank you